Hello, in this video, I'll walk through the steps for integrating Office 365 with CyberArk for single sign-on and provisioning. First, we're going to create a role that we will use later for application access and user provisioning. In production, you may need to use multiple roles for, to manage different levels of access and licensing for Office 365, but we'll just create one for demonstration purposes. Next, I'm going to Web Apps, and we're going to add the Office 365 template that's labeled WSFED and Provisioning. For authentication method, I'll select token-based authentication, and then we'll go over to the Azure portal. We'll search for app registrations. And click on new registration. I'm going to give this a name that's easy for me to identify in case I have other types of application integrations. I'll add O365 in the name so I'll know this is specific to our Office 365 integration. We'll leave it as accounts in this organization directory only and we'll click register. Next, we're going to go to Certificates and Secrets, then click New Client Secret. Again, we'll name this Office 365 just so we know what it's for. Microsoft recommends a six months expiration, but since this is for my lab, I'm going to change it to one year. Since we're already in this view, we're going to go to copy the value of this secret. Then we'll switch back to the CyberArk Admin portal and paste the secret in here. We'll come back and populate the rest of the settings later, but let's switch back to the Azure portal and go to API permissions. Click Add a permission. Then we're going to select Microsoft Graph at the top. Then there's going to be a set of permissions that we have to add. If you look in our documentation, these are the permissions that are needed. So if you only need SSO, these are the only permissions that you'll need. But since we're also doing provisioning, we're going to select all of these other permissions down here. Okay, so I'll start with delegated permissions. Now we'll click Add a Permission again, select Microsoft Graph, then Application Permissions, and add all the necessary permissions. Next thing we got to do is click on Grant Admin Consent for our organization. Click Yes. Then all of these should turn green. Let's go over to Overview to get the rest of the information that we'll need to put into the CyberArk Admin Portal. We'll copy the directory tenant ID and paste it into the directory ID field in CyberArk. 
Then the application client ID will go into the client ID field in CyberArk. Click Verify, and now we'll see the domain that hasn't been federated yet. We're going to select the domain that we want to federate. Click on the Actions button and select Download PowerShell Script. Once we see the PowerShell script download to our computer, we'll launch PowerShell and run the PowerShell script that we just downloaded. The script will prompt us to log into our Office 365 account. Once we're logged in, we'll enter F to federate. Back in the admin portal, if we refresh our window, we see our domain status hasn't changed yet. This is to be expected. It sometimes takes Microsoft from 1 to sometimes 15 minutes to complete configuration changes. So while we wait, I just want to show you if we open up the PowerShell script we ran earlier in Notepad, we can see that this script has customized information with our domain and CyberArk template information in it. So all that we have to do is just run the script and tell it to federate. So let's switch back to the admin portal and refresh the browser. And it looks like we're now federated. Next, let's go to permissions and add the role that we created earlier to enable users access to Office 365 for single sign-on. Then we'll go to provisioning, select enable provisioning. And then we can see the licenses that are available for us to use. And here are some deprovisioning settings that we can configure when users leave the organization or change roles. Role mapping is where we can assign uh, a license to a role and decide which applications or services are available for that role. So I'm going to create a new user named Alan. Then we'll add Alan to the Office 365 role to grant Alan the ability to get single sign-on as well as get provision and license to him. So I'm going to go back to Azure AD just to show you that Alan doesn't exist yet. So we'll search for him. And we see there is no Allen. Normally, it would take about 5 to 15 minutes to automatically provision a new Office 365 user, depending on Microsoft. Um, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to force it so we don't have to wait. And look at our job reports. And 
and we see our new user Alan being added into Office 365. So let's take a look at Azure AD, hit refresh, and now we see Alan has been added to Azure AD. So we're going to go to our Office 365 login and log in as our new user, Alan. You'll see we'll be redirected to CyberArk for authentication. Gonna hit approve on my mobile phone. And we're in. Hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.